What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Protoss Cheese to Grandmaster. In the last episode we did a disgusting mothership rush and a tempest rush and today I am really in the mood for some epic disruptor cheeses. As you can see the MMR is already diamond too. Let's begin. Alright, first game of the day is against a Terran and I think that is perfect. I always say it guys, I love torturing Terrans the most and I think I finally figured out the reason why. It's not because I have anything against Terrans obviously as I have a Terran main myself, but... I do know all the weaknesses of Terran better than the other races, so it just feels a little bit easier to get into when I know exactly what they find frustrating. Now, how am I going to open with a Disruptor Cheese? Obviously, I want to proxy it. I, I think I should just pretend I'm doing a slightly more hardcore cheese than I am. Because, like, if you, if my let's say my opponent's going to scout me. At least I hope he scouts me at some point. If he sees I have no expansion, I have double gas they're probably gonna think i might be going for like a one base void rail in or maybe like immortals or maybe like a four gate or something like that but then instead i'm gonna do like a slightly delayed disruptor draw probably build a little bit further away like here or something and then let's say my opponent spams marines to defend it that would be the 100 percent best case scenario oh that's a very early scout actually maybe that's even better for me uh then i can just blow up all the marines with my disruptor drop and that's gonna be absolutely brutal now, that is a little bit suspicious of a scout. Like, we could be getting... Yeah, okay. It looks like we are getting cheesed ourselves. Unless he's going for, like, a hidden CC first or something. Okay, this is going to be quite interesting. I want to say that this situation is probably quite good for us, but I'm not 100% sure. And the reason why I say it's good for us is because we can just defend the high ground, right? If I would have to guess, I would say that this is probably... Maybe like a three or four barracks mass marine all in, something like that. Uh, I mean, it's still pretty dangerous, but I guess I can just spam batteries. And then at some point, hopefully get this robo up. Kind of depends on if there's also going to be SCP po SCPs pulled, for example. I think I should probably stop mining that much gas. I need to be smart about this. I would love to commit to my cheese 100% about think about it, right? Probably this game is going to come down to me defending his attack rather than actually getting disruptor drop in right so uh, i guess it's smarter for me to pull out of gas a little bit i even think i might not need that much gas well i guess if i make stalkers i probably do okay so i made one zealot i could i could make two zealots i think it's probably smarter to make stalkers though there we go I'm gonna make stalkers now i'm gonna send this one out mostly just to scout let's see if i can find something i, I don't want to be too scared right so let's say my opponent is okay so there's yeah right okay i didn't want to make batteries blindly i didn't want to be too scared now he's gonna bunker the low ground which is a pretty decent idea if he's playing excuse me if he's playing two racks if this is three racks he'll probably want to do a little bit more damage i'm gonna start making another battery here like what he's doing right now is, is decent. The, the problem for him is that I went for a blind proxy already. So my proxy is way faster than he would expect, right? That's the thing. Now, I'm never going to be able to take my natural, but... Let's see. I'm trying to judge how many marines it is. I also don't want this to get caught, obviously. Need to make a robo bay at the right time. Okay, this is a pretty funky situation. I have to admit, I didn't expect I was going to get stuck in something like this. I would love to move these stalkers out and just see what I can do. Like, there's probably a lot of marines here ready to surround me. That's what I should be uh, mostly afraid of. I don't see any marines here. I want to make a war prism as well. I'm really trying to play co uh, pay close attention to whether he's running into my base or not. Like, I don't know how many marines there is there. If there's eight... He could easily go in and start one-shotting my probes while I'm gone. And this is, this is a very scary situation. I mean, I do think I have the upper hand. And I mostly say that because Disruptor Drop, it, it's so freaking good against Marines, right? Like, absolutely incredible against Marines. Like, he's not going to have tech units that fast. I guess he could probably have uh, a Cyclone out by now. But even then, I'm not that scared of it. Okay, there we go. The first Disruptor is on the way. Let's see. He doesn't have the expansion yet. I haven't seen any Marines reinforced, so I could probably try to go for the kill at this point. Here I can kill those SCVs. Let's see. It's uh, four. Yeah, four Stalkers and one Zealot. I think, yeah, it should, should definitely be enough because he's never reinforced, basically. He does have four Marines in there. That's quite a little damage, I have to say. Let's make sure I target the Stalkers. There we go. I'm going to lose a Zealot for it. If I don't micro well enough, I will lose a Stalker. Oh my god, I'm actually so freaking crazy for actually attacking with that Stalker. What's wrong with me? Okay, here's the first Disruptor drop, guys. And I'm just going to go in. I'm going to take my expansion as well. I don't even really care about these Stalkers anymore. I just want to get a really big hit with these Disruptors. Maybe I should even go for a second. Uh, oh, that's a third command center already, I think. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Is the first hit big? I think it's going to be big. Four kills. Not bad at all. I do like that he pulled the SCVs away after it shot. That's kind of funny. Maybe I can go for... 
A Col oh, that's so cool. I'm going to go for a Colossus follow-up, guys. This is awesome. This, this is my kind of cheese. Like, if I was a pro Protoss player, I would probably try to perfect something like this. Like, just a casual proxy disruptor into a Colossus attack. I do need a little bit more gas so I can afford Thermal Land. So, let's see. Where's the Marines? Oh, no. It was just natural. Okay. No, no, it was his third CC, okay? I, th I thought it was crazy. No, it was his third command center. I was right. So that is probably going to be a cyclone. I need to be very careful for that. I don't know where the Marines are, though. Okay, here I can just fake him out. Are the Marines attacking me by any chance? Okay, so there's a couple... Oh, no. That, that That's very clumped. Oh, no! What are you doing? Be careful, my friend. Oh, no. It's a disaster. Oh, that is so freaking painful. It looked like he was doing okay. Keep in mind, guys, I don't even have a natural, right? And my opponent has three commands. Just, oh, there's the Cyclone. I think I'm barely going to be able to escape, though. He scans, but I think we're okay. Very close. Though. Imagine if I lost that. That would have been uh, a bigger disaster probably than what he lost because he does have triple mule, which is give or take 10 SCVs, I believe. I'm just going to start warping in here. He does not have a starport. No, okay, that is quite nice. Uh, one move that I could consider is to try kill the Cyclone. Disruptors do one-shot Cyclones, guys, so that could be a potential play. I'm going to go for another gateway here. Maybe I should save for, like, three Colossus, so then it's really, like, a big scare. Then I'll also have extended Thermal Lands ready. Yeah, I'll go for a third gateway. Did I just lock myself in? No, I didn't. Okay, that would have been a little bit sad. You know, trying to play the perfect cheese here, and then I lock in my own probe. Billy the probe. No, I always call them Billy. And Protoss things probably have weird names. It's probably, like... I don't know. You guys figure it out. I can't think of a name right now. You guys know more about the lore than me, probably. Not that much of a lore guy, to be honest. Okay, let's see. I'm going to save one of these. Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. There we go. The Cyclone dies. Oh, my God. This is so brutal. He doesn't have a star for it, so he just cannot stop these. He misclicked the SCVs as well. Yeah, the panic is setting in, guys. And I'm afraid that he is not going to be surviving this three Colossus attack. Maybe I could have even... Added more gateways. Kind of depends on if I want to keep making Colossus with this, right? Like, this is my third Colossus. I could have just not queued the fourth one and gone up to six gateways. Oh, no. Guys, it's time. Oh, the Disruptor Torture is here. Dude, I think he's lost everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is his supply? 28. Oh, my God. I want to know how many kills those Disruptors have. I could probably tell right before I lift them into the prison, right? I want to see. Okay, so this one, it has... 26 of that disruptor no freaking way 20 26 and 7 33 kills on these disruptors most of those are SUVs. one cycle and his marines look what he has left 16 SUVs, one marauder four marines and that is all these two disruptors i really hope he didn't rewind and just left the game else you would have seen that i also have three colossus over here and a nexus and a couple gateways this cheese is brutal let's go make some more disruptors all right, game two is against a Zerg player. All right, this one is going to be a little bit more difficult. I mean, I said it at the start. I love torturing Terrans, and I knew exactly how I was going to do it. Albeit, we did get a little lucky as well, to be honest. Now, against Zerg, I have a little bit of a crazy idea. So, there is a build. Um, I, I don't want to say this wrong. I think there's a build against Zerg where you go for Glaive Adept. So, you go for, like, I think it's usually, like, four gate Glaive Adepts after expanding. Then you follow it up with a Disruptor drop, and then you can play macro from that, but you can also just go for, like, more gates and kill them with, like, six gate Glaive Adepts plus a couple Disruptors. I would love to try that build, but the other way around. So I want to open with Disruptor Drop, you know, have as much time to torture them as possible, and then go for a big Glaives attack. That build, I mean, if it was really good, you probably would have seen it in pro play, and I haven't, but it, I feel like there must be some way to make it happen. Now, I send out this probe here. This is just to block the Zerg expansion. This is one of the most annoying things about playing Zerg, by the way. Like, I sympathize with Zerg. Sometimes I play Zerg myself. You know, having Protoss players block your expansion, this guy doesn't seem like he wants to expand anyway. But having them block your expansion and then you have to take the third base, it's so annoying. Like, it's actually horribly annoying. So he took a gas and a pool. Okay, so I, th I think he just switched up his build. To me, it looked like he wanted to go for a hatch first, but then um, decided to just make the pool and the gas first and then his hatchery. It's not... At least I don't think so. I could be wrong on the timing. I don't think that's a particularly fast uh, pool at all. I don't think that was a 14 pool or something like that. I think it was probably like a 17 pool. Maybe like a 17, 17 or something like that. Let's see. Can we find the hatchery? It, it, it is possible that we get cheesed ourselves, by the way. Like, obviously, I feel like I've had a little bit of a uh, 
cheesy yeah exactly i heard a little bit of a cheesy influence on the ladder with my videos you could say and i think ever since i became a little bit bigger on the tube i've been seeing more and more cheese myself on the ladder so i think there there is a chance we're going to be playing as the proxy hedge here of course can't uh, discount my own strategy now i'm just going to check the pro or the, the zerg main and see if i can find any clues like is it like roaches or so he has a hatchery here now uh did he maybe I, I'm, I'm looking at the timings, right? I, I think he probably could have hidden that. Let's see. Oh, he wanted to build something. Okay, yeah. This is the biggest clue, guys. He has almost 200 gas mined. We are going to be getting cheesed here. So I'm going to make my robo in the wall. I feel like this is just a whole, like, it's just, it's just a cluster of mind games, really, more than anything else. Like, this is just a million mind games. What I'm going to do... So I was about to make an adept, but I'm going to make a stalker. I'm not going to make a blind battery. This is just one of those games where you don't have the information 100%, but you just have to trust the things you saw. Like, his expansion is very late. He mined realistically way too much gas. Like, this person is going to be cheesing us. If I wanted to be 100% safe, I would probably make a full wall. I also want to continue doing my disruptor rush build, though, so I don't necessarily want to, you know... <laughs> like root my own build so i can't get there anymore i'll make a sentry i'll make sure to chrono boost this and i think that should be enough i can probably realistically well i guess technically it could be roaches right like what we saw is his drone he pulled it away as if he didn't want to make the thing anymore but i want to bet that he's still gonna try to cheese me in whatever way he wanted to cheese me so i'm now gonna go for this i know i'm absolutely insane for still trying this but that's i guess that's who i am this element is mostly just a scout. I want to see, like, when, when this stuff is coming. It, it, it could potentially be roaches, by the way. If, if this is roaches, we could be in a massive amount of trouble. Uh, disruptors are going to finish, and I want to guess, like, a minute 10. Okay, so there's a bunch of links. That's... Okay, he could have killed that if he wanted to. I guess he was a little scared. I really hope it's not roaches, guys. If this is roaches, I'm very, very scared. I can tell you guys that much. I'm not going to fall for that. That is, uh, you know, a magnet or a bait or whatever you want to call that. I'm definitely not going to be attacking. Oh, it is actually roaches. That is going to be a tough one. And I'm I'm out here making a warper, so guys. Oh, no. We are in 100% a huge amount of trouble here. Let's see. Do I have another force field? Almost, actually. Yo, that prison might help us out. Okay, I'm going to start making a disruptor now. Let's see. He, yeah. Oh, we're actually in so much trouble. I can't believe this. It is roaches after all you sneaky sneaky zerg player oh i feel like i can maybe sneak this one though i don't have a battery here i really wish i had a battery let's see i don't have anything wait you lost the zerglings already i have a force field guys here we go that's the century just recharged he's gonna try but i'll still be able to surround him and oh my goodness he got surrounded heavily he didn't wait for the zerglings he should have waited for the zerglings a little longer let me micro that a death back the adept has so much damage wait i can heal that with the battery actually look at this He's targeting the pilot, but not the battery. The battery is actually doing a fantastic job there. That's going to stay alive. It's really funny because he clearly thinks that that is going to be uh, an immortal. Well, in reality, that, that is a disruptor building for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Now, I do have a couple units. I could wait if I if I get a probe down here, this could be pretty good. Let's see. I mean, I'm always going to be able to save these. That's the thing. So he's going to try to kill that battery. And maybe I can uh, plug the wall here. That would be quite nice. Okay, the wall is barely going to get plugged. Now I can drop on the outside. Okay, the micro here is getting very cool, I have to say. But there's just no healing on these. God, this is going to be such a tough game for me to win still. I'm going to try to repower this. I'm going to... Oh, wait. He's fighting with... Yeah, I think I have to fight this. Okay, I thought he was going to meet up with the Zerglings, but he decided not to. I'm going to drop the Stalker first. So that's going to take most of the damage. Okay, so these probes are barely going to win this fight. I do really have to... Wait, where's my prism? Okay, dude. I lost my prism there for a second. I was like, oh my god, this could be an absolute disaster. I think I need to pull the probes here. This is the last chance I have to possibly defend this, I believe. Okay, you're gonna fight on the ramp. That's nice. And make sure I pull these back. Maybe I can even hold position these probes for a little bit. So I can get some free trades. Here we go, dude. That's it. Look at that sentry HP, by the way. That's incredibly low. I think I'm gonna have to start chrono boosting some probes here. Maybe I can finally rewall this off. I'm trying my best to micro, but there's just so many units. No, my adept falls. That might be the most important unit out of all of this. I'm finally gonna get the rewall here, at least. I'm still desperately trying to make the disruptor, funnily enough. And now maybe if he if he can't kill that. Then we're going to be able to survive, finally. Oh my goodness, here we go. Now, I'm definitely not going to pretend that we're in a fantastic spot here. I mean, I have I have 11 probes. 
it's 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 not great it, it really is not great but at least we survived after all of that this might have been like the craziest cheese defense ever and now guys here we go one disruptor and a dream okay <laughs> god this is yeah this is ugly my economy is absolutely awful but i have a sentry i have two batteries i mean wait oh that's really good news for us he was still making zerglings all that time which means that he doesn't have as many drones as he should. This, this is the strongest thing about Zerg, by the way. Zerg can drone up so fast that if they cheese you, if they leave you, like, not even, like, completely dead, just, like, a little destabilized, then you're just kind of screwed because they could have been making drones all the time. But, yeah, he really doesn't have that many, to be honest. Like, I feel like he should have had more drones. Guess I'll just make more disruptors here. I could probably get a really good drop here off, I want to say. Let's see, this is going to be pretty huge, I think. There we go. That's, I think it was six drones dying. I, I feel like I'm, I'm catching up in workers already. I'm double chronoing. I got the two batteries up. Oh, my goodness. I, how, how many of you thought I was dead? Let's, let's be honest, guys. How many of you thought I was dead there? I want to guess that it was probably like at least 70% of you. And the other 30% only thought I wasn't dead because you guys have seen me perform crazier things probably throughout the years. Well, okay, I'm going to go pick up my second disruptor. And now... Yeah, I'm actually going to make a Colossus with that. Now I'm going to go for the second part of my plan. Remember, I wanted to do a disruptor drop and then go into like a clay, crazy glaive salon. Yeah, the biggest problem here is just that I, I don't have money to make the six gates and, and the glaives that I want. I think I should probably... Yeah, I, I don't think I should chrono boost that anymore. I should keep chrono boosting the, the probes instead because the economy is more important here. Now, that is one of the strengths of Protoss. Just if you lose your workers, you can rebuild them pretty fast. And then if you have units like this that can uh, keep tabs on the Zerg a little bit. Now, he doesn't have... Oh, I just chrono boosted again. That's so automatic. Oh, he's making extra gases. That's kind of scary, I have to say. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's going to be so many drones dead. Oh, that's absolutely brutal. Wait, did, did one of them have a shot? Oh, no. I, th I thought I picked it up before it shot, actually. Uh, but I didn't. That's good. Now, that that scares me, I have to say, the gases. That probably means that he took a lair. Or he built a lair and he might be going for Mutalisk. I mean, that's a pretty good choice, obviously, considering that I do not have anti-air. I mean, my entire army is a freaking disruptor to open a, a laser giraffe standing at home over here. That's pretty much all I have. Now, let's start adding some gateways at least. I mean, I can still go for Blink, right? That's the thing. Let's see if there's a lair... Okay, there is a lair. Yeah, then it's very likely to be Mutalisk, I want to say. Okay, I, I'm not sure if he realizes it, but you can't do friendly fire with disruptors. That's one of the craziest things. Oh, no, I got my probe stuck. Yeah, I'm not going to recall that. Get fricked. That's what you get for being a silly goose, standing in the place where you get blocked. Uh, you don't get saved. Now all the other pros get to laugh at you for eternity. Look at that poor pro over there. Now, I feel like with that amount of workers killed, we are probably in a pretty decent spot. The only thing I'm afraid of is if he has a little gas bank, he will be able... Let's say if he makes, like, I don't know. There's no way he's going to have that much. But let's say eight mutants. That sounds somewhat reasonable. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't have that much anti-air, right? But at the same time, it's also not that much. Now, let's see if he can get... Oh, there's going to be a big one, I think. He's running away. Oh, no, he's not moving. Oh, and another one. He's going to kill the prism, I think. So I'm just going to recall these. Oh, Protoss tools. Let's go. He's sniped the prism, but it doesn't matter. That's beautiful. That's the, that's the stuff I like to see, guys. Just just some, just some casual Protoss tools. It's no big deal. Now, that is Colossus number three finishing. I'm going to make batteries in my mineral lines because I think with how many workers I killed, he's going to have a couple mutas. But I, I don't think it's going to be more than a couple. Like, I just killed way too many drones at this point. Like, Zerg is good, okay? We, we, we all know Zerg is fantastic, but is it that fantastic? I, I don't think so. Oh, I... Dude, I was trying so hard to make sure I didn't depower anything, and I still depowered that poor gateway. Now I'm going to warp some sentries. It did become a blink attack instead of a glaives attack because of the lair. But in the end, I think this is a really cool cheese build. The super fast disruptor rush into the all-in. Uh, I feel like if the Zerg is not completely on point with the micro, you can just smash them. And disruptor drops is one of my absolute most favorite things to do it's been an honor <laughs> oh thank you I, I i guess he knew who we were i suppose yeah oh wait guys he did have that oh my goodness if i didn't kill that many drones he oh that was actually way closer than i thought he would have been able to make like 12 mutas if i didn't kill that many drones and i have six centuries and three stalkers oh my goodness i mean obviously we were very dead at the start 
but even then, I thought after we killed that many drones with disruptors, how many did he kill? 39. I thought, okay, now we have it. But looking at his money, if if like one or two of those shots didn't do as much damage, he would have had 60 drones, 12 mutas on the way. And then I think we're actually dead. So I'm very, very happy we could win this game. It was an awesome game. Let's go to game number three. All right, game number three, and we got another terror now. That last game was so freaking close, and I probably should have lost like four times, to be honest. I'm, I'm definitely a little bit more scared. I can definitely feel my, my uh, heart rate go up a little bit there. Now, good thing we have another Terran to torture. That is my favorite thing. Now, I'm going to continue doing something that I really like to do um, in every matchup besides TVP, actually. And that is just send out a probe instantly. Or, I, I don't know what I said. Be outside of PvP, I meant. I'm not sure if I said PvT or not. But against both Zerg and Terran, I really love sending out workers early. You can scout, uh, you can block hatchery, stuff like that. It's just, it, it's very, very nice. The only downside is, I think I had one game. I don't remember what video that was in even, or if that even was in a video. I, I genuinely don't remember. But I send out this probe. And keep in mind, I want to proxy with this probe as well, right? Because I'm going to go for proxy disruptors again. But then, sometimes they just get sick of your harassment. And they just follow your probe forever. Like, they literally never click the SCV back. And then you're just like... <laughs> yeah, let me proxy, bro. Come on. Okay. Oh, look. This is so juicy. Barracks just goes down. And now we get to annoy him for a good amount of time. And also, another benefit of this is that very often... They will forget to send a scout right because they're so busy with defending or maybe maybe they don't even forget maybe they just feel like they're too poor okay so he's gonna scout early that is an interesting choice i do think it's the right choice by the way but it's an interesting choice oh i barely can't reach that that's unfortunate uh because he's already a little bit poorer than he would want to be at this point in time right and now he's gonna lose even more money so i'm not sure i'm 100 percent a fan but I think it's going to work out for him just fine. And yeah, I, I do really have to compliment the clarity of mine to actually go out and scout. Unless he's just trying to proxy me and he's, <laughs> you know, he's about to laugh at me. He's like, what do you mean scouting, bro? I'm about to cheese you back. Okay, I'm going to build it a little bit further away like I did the last time. I'm going to build it over here. Now he sees I have a double gas. This is the scariest moment for sure. Against Terran, what can happen is if you build it a little bit too close, like this is maybe a little too close for comfort, maybe I should have built it a little further. They can check you out with a Reaper, and if they find you, they can kill the probe, kill the pylon, and then you, you know, you kind of end up in one of those weird games where you have to send an adept across and send another probe, and everything is delayed, and it's, it's, it's not great. It's definitely not great. Okay, so Robo's gonna go down here. It's funny, it, it looks like a really weird Robo position because it's behind the mineral line. There's actually a rule. Not necessarily a rule, but just like, for example, a tip for scouting when you play Terran. Is if the tech is behind the mineral line, it's probably not a robo, right? Because why would... Like, I mean, if it's a Twilight Council, it makes sense because it's an upgrade. If it's target, it makes sense because those units fly over. A robo, however, just builds units that you want to send to the enemy's base as soon as possible for the most part. So why would it be behind the mineral line, right? So that's why this looks really, really weird. And obviously, you can do some mind games with that as well. Okay, so I'm going to go for... I do need to expand here, by the way. For some reason, I get so caught up in cheesing that I forget to expand. But it, it is the intention that I expand here. But I'm going to go for three adepts. I made a battery here against the Reaper. Then I'll send the three adepts across. I really like three adept squads so much. It's one of my favorite Protoss things. You guys might know from the Proxy Nexus series. Uh, but what I like about it so much is that they one-shot Marines and SCV. So there's so much outplay potential. And then I'll follow it up with the Disruptor Drop. I don't think... 36 seconds, huh? That takes longer than I thought. I don't think I can afford the Nexus before the Disruptor, but I'm going to give it a shot. So here are three Adepts. I'm kind of surprised that no Reaper or anything has shown up to rescout my base. It's like my opponent was like, okay, this guy's cheesing. Shut it down. No one leaves. Stay inside the city walls, you know, and and, and that's pretty much it. Because I, I would have expected like a Hellion or a Reaper or something to scout me. I feel like almost everyone sends a Reaper at some point, uh, which leads me to believe, okay, thank goodness he scouted it very late at least. He made a... Oh my goodness, that is just... That seems like a, a super snap decision, I have to say. I'm not sure what it's going to do, though. Let's see. I'm No, I'm going to go for the SCV. It's smarter, right? Yeah, I'm going to go for the SCV. He, just, he scouted me super late, and he instantly popped out a bunker. Wait, I should have... Yeah, I, oh, I, I, I forgot about that upgrade this entire time, by the way. Like, literally this entire episode. I should have been going for Warp Prism Speed as well. That's actually a fantastic upgrade. I mean, in the last game, it's not like I had a chance to. But it is a fantastic upgrade to, to build. And I really should have done it a little before. 
So I'm going to shade into the natural. This is kind of a double prong. I need to make sure that I don't outplay myself. Okay, this seems pretty... Oh, there's a Widowmine there. I need to go back. That's going to be very low HP. Good thing I have the battery. A really good Widowmine placement as well. Well done by him. Let me just make sure I heal this up real quick. I think I'm going to make another battery over there. And maybe now, should I go for the Colossus already? I'm not quite sure. I mean, the Colossus could be a good choice, right? Let's see. I think I'm going to do it anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll try the same build, but this time my opponent is just incredibly well prepared, I have to say. Oh, that was... Not the cleanest thing I've ever done. Let's see, is there another Widow Mine here? Oh, we can sync up, maybe. Okay, here we go with the sync up, guys. The Disruptor from downtown, baby. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's going to be massive. Oh, I do need to... I, I can't save the Prism, I think. Oh, wait, he's not paying attention. He doesn't realize I should not disrupt it. Oh, no, why did he move away? That did so much more damage than it should. Okay, I'm going to start getting a couple gateways here. That one, I probably should have recalled this already, but I guess... At, at this rate, it's just going to recharge the shot and I'll be able to kill the Viking. But this this became a very weird game, didn't it? And also making that... You see, how long does it actually take? What is the cool on of that? I don't even know, actually. Okay, I'm going to move it to the top and then shoot from downtown. No, he's clumping the units. Why? No, he lost another couple. Okay, maybe I can put my adepts here and save it. I don't think I'm going to save this one. I really should have recalled that. But still, this has been a pretty funny trade. And meanwhile, I'm already making some more Colossus. I don't think I should be making too many... Um... Too many Colossus or maybe even range. I, I was thinking I was thinking about getting range, but I think I should just make two and then focus on the the upgrades for the most part. Okay, he's doing his best to split. Now I'm gonna recall that one. That one I would actually uh, really like to have. Sounds kind of rude to the other disruptor, right? I let it die and then I'm like, no, th this one, <laughs> this one I do want to keep <laughs> for a disruptor. That's how it's so freaking rude. Oh, dude, for. I thought this little debris or whatever it was my probe. I was trying to grab... Oh, no. This Colossus is going to have such a good time. Look at this Colossus. Marines against Colossus is one of the most disgusting trades you can have in StarCraft. They're getting absolutely annihilated. He doesn't have any units left. I have a second Colossus coming out as well. I can even make a third base, but it's really dumb. So I don't know why that probe is there, to be honest. <laughs> Gotta question my own decisions too, right? Now I'm going to get in here. I do have a force field if I need it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's actually two Marines. I mean, it sounds like a small deal, but if those got into the bunker, it could have been harder. And there we go. Disruptor dropped torches in other there. And this guy had a fantastic response, but at some point it still fell apart. I do have to say, Viking was a really good choice. Cyclone would have also been really good to shut down a prison, but it's just really hard. Playing against disruptor drops is incredibly hard. Sometimes you just mess up and you lose everything and then you're dead. You can do it perfectly and then the build is not that good. But for now, this was a fantastic episode. I was really excited to do disruptor drops today, so I'm glad I, got, I was able to do it in all games. Hope you guys had a fantastic time too. Make sure to give a video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Adios.